A holding instruction is basically an instruction that holds a certain instruction and keeps the status of it. We also refer to it as a sealing instruction that seals in the condition of that specific instruction. For example, if we're using a start push button to start a motor, the motor runs as long as the push button is held in. It would be unreasonable to keep holding the push button for the time the motor is to run. So, to allow the motor to stay running, we use a seal in instruction to keep the output on. The simplest way is using the output motor address as a sealing instruction. The address of the instruction is either internal bit or a physical contact. So the program first read rung by rung. When the push button is pressed, the motor starts and the memory location status now equals to one. Since we're using the same memory address for the holding instruction, then as soon as the motor instruction is one, the instruction is highlighted. And now even if the push button is not pressed anymore, the motor stays on. So think about it as another route for the output, another option to keep the output on. Let's use the simulation software to see how this works. So here I have a start push button and motor. I'm going to use a green light for the motor to see when it's on and when it's off. So let's see how this program works. Again, you go online, download the program, and hit the run mode. So now, as soon as I press the push button, the motor turns on. As soon as I let go, the motor turns off. So one way to keep the motor on is to use a sealant instruction. So we go offline. And in order to use the sealant instruction, you are going to use the rank branch instruction. So you drag it. And then you place the instruction inside it because we want to hold that. And then use an XIC instruction for the seal in instruction. And here for the address, we use the same address for the output. So notice here that the seal instruction and the output have the same address. Now you do the same thing. You go online, download the program, and hit the run mode. And as soon as I press on the start push button and let go, the motor will turn on and stay on. So this instruction keeps the output on. It seals in the output. One of the common ways to use a sealant instruction is to create an internal tag within the software and not connect it to any external device. So for the same example, using an internal tag to hold the status bit and then use it to run the motor. The internal tag is a Boolean type, so it's either on or off, zero or one. Sealant instruction can be for one input or can be for multiple inputs, depending on your program and the logic.